One acre. Sorry. One acre. Shasta County, California. This is a really beautiful property. My name is Miles McLaughlin. Our company is Wilco Land. I'm going to bring forward this property to you. I'm going to click through some of these photos. I'm going to show you what we have for videos. We're up in Northern California in the northeast corner of Shasta County in the Alpine Home subdivision. So this has really easy access. I'll go over how you can go to the property. What our company does is offer a more self-service real estate model. And um, to do that, you know, we, we put those tools to visit the property, do your due diligence, things of that nature, um, answer FAQs, you know, hey, how do you get water to this property? This is probably gonna be a well in this area. I'll get to the location on a map. How do you visit it? You know, you're more than welcome to go visit it anytime on your own. You know, we offer this self-service real estate model. There's owner carry options available with all of our properties too. So I just wanted to click through this video. I know it's 15, minute long, 15 minutes long. It's what our photographer sent us, but I wanted to click through this video to give you an idea of the neighborhood and the area that you're gonna be working around. It's really an epic and beautiful area. A lot of ranching, a lot of outdoor recreation. This property is right at the foothills of Soldier Mountain. So this is an, an area that's really growing in popularity up in um, Northern California. So Siskiyou, Shasta, we sell in all these counties, Shasta County. Um, <laughs> so here's, yeah, you know, this is what we're looking at. And we'll have all this posted on the website. Um, probably not that video. If you need the video, send me a text or an email and I can forward it to you. So again, looking through some of these photos, I know I'm fine through it, but I know everybody's attention span is pretty short in today's day and age. So the next thing I want to show you is this property from a bird's eye view from GIS systems. And this is a tool that we provide on our website. I have the link to it. You can download it. You can open it up on Google Earth. So you can see some of those trees on the property. It almost looks like somebody's taking care of our property, which if you watch this video, thank you. It looks beautiful. You're going to access on Mountain View Road. It's kind of a, it's a quaint little area and there's some development. So, you know, hey, can you build and do those things? I have the zoning for you. So when it comes to land use, you know, building questions, what you can do with the property, the zoning is RLT. And I'll show you how you can look that up. We also provide a link where you can read a little bit more about it. But when I look at properties like this, I see, you know, what, what are other, other people doing? You know, they were able to build, they were able to build, you know, there's people using their property. So that means that there's, there's use to be had here. It's not like every property is vacant and there's, there's something going on. Maybe none of them work for septic systems or things like that. The next thing I wanna do is show you how to visit a Wilco land property. You're gonna use GPS coordinates. All I did was copy and paste the coordinates from our website listing. It's gonna show where we're at on a map. As you can see, this is all public lands, most likely um, in green here. So you're really close to a, a, a large area for recreation. A lot of great fishing and hunting up here too. So you have the Fall River and you're right northwest of Fall River Mills. This is, we've sold some land in this pocket. Uh, we're closing a sale right here. It's, it's really an area that people seem to like a lot. If you go up there, it's, it's, uh, it's an untouched gem. It kind of reminds me of like Bozeman, Montana, Montana, for example. So this is where we're at on a map. Again, it's a hidden gem, gem up in Northern California for those that aren't familiar with the area around MacArthur. So a lot of hunting, a lot of fishing, a lot of recreation to be had, a lot of bodies of water too. So there's, there's a really unique spot up here that I don't even know how to pronounce it. Like Ayujai Lava Springs. This is boat in like hiking only. Um, give it a Google and look at some photos. It's really a cool area to go recreate at, you know, fish, bring the kayaks, things like that. So now that we're done looking at the property location, I know I mentioned I'm going to touch on land use, zoning, um, power is out there at the property. It is undeveloped. It's vacant. Zoning is RLT. This will be inside of our listing, but we're also going to provide the link to Shasta County's page if you want to look at zoning information. So this is something you can look at, look at some permitted uses, things like that. So RLT, I believe it's, it probably allows some sort of trailer home. So that's what I would say. zoning so it's a combination zone probably then so rl is limited residential so we can look at what's um in limited residential you can read that here one uh, family residence farming uses you know i'm i'm thinking like homestead hobby farm things like that you can read through this you might need a zoning permit 
uh, for a second home, a guest house, things of that nature. Um, so you can, you can try to do other things with different permits. You can read through that. So T is a different zoning. So T is gonna actually be a combination zoning is what that's usually called. So RL, it's a combination. So let's see if we can find T. Should just be popping up here, but it's not. Here we go. Mobile home district. So like I said, it's combination zone. You've got RL and you've got T. And tell you the combined, uh, you know, the permitted uses, light ag, things of that nature. So um, a lot of uses for this property, a lot of options, a lot of availability. Like I said, I'm really happy to have a property up here. We love the area. If you have any questions, give us a call. I've got a blog on how to use Shasta County's GIS system. I'll go to it right now to show you. We do have other properties in California, Oregon, Colorado, uh, Utah, across the board. So Shasta County's GIS systems right here for anybody with questions, that's gonna help you do some due diligence. I recommend using that. It's a really great tool that Shasta County offers where you can look at different streams on properties. You really don't have to leave the comfort of your home to do a lot of due diligence. And that's an example. So again, Miles at Wilco Land, have a question, give me a call. 605-299-5553. That's it from me today. Thank you.